Waverly Place is a privately funded community research center under the umbrella of McLean Hospital. On October 16th, Waverly Place will hold a free event at the State House to help people with disabilities find employment. Jennifer Hind, a vocational specialist at Waverly Place, spoke about the event. We're doing an event on October 16th at the State House. It's Disability Mentoring Day. This is the first time we're is bringing together all the statewide disability agencies. And it's basically an event that's going to be open to the public and it will be divided into three distinct areas. The first one will be a job fair. And all the employers present will be there to either talk about volunteer opportunities or potential employment. So the next thing is going to be uh, Secretary Sutters will be our keynote speaker and she runs all the statewide disability agencies. Also, there will be an information table. We'll have people from the Commission for the Blind. We'll have Easter Seals and we'll have Massachusetts Rehabilitation Commission and they will have all the assistive technology. We're going to have an area where people need some resume development, cover letters. They'll be able to go there and get some pointers and people will talk to them about how to do that. We'll also have experts there that can talk to them about if they've had a hard time with their disability finding employment, here's what you can do. Included in that, we're also going to have somebody from the Disability Law Center. So it's a unique opportunity where we have all the people of the disability statewide, many of the provider agencies all showing up and everybody collaborating together. And for me, the reason why this is important is a lot of times over my professional career I've seen people, doctors, therapists, family members think people that have mental health challenges or any challenges, they think they can't work. And they can. Years ago there was a gentleman who, you know, he sat on a bench outside. And the first thing we did is we worked at, you know, people talking with him and just showing him some compassion. Then he got a little more comfortable coming inside to Waverly. Then from there he got a little more comfortable and he started doing some of the groups. From there it grew to pretty soon there was a group he felt really comfortable in and he started helping facilitate it. Then he really liked it and before you knew it he was taking a class at Bunker Hill. Then he got a certification which ultimately led him to getting a job that he's held for now a couple years. So this is a person who if we just kept passing him by and ignored him and didn't do some outreach, he could still be sitting on a park bench. Now he's worked for a couple years. He's moved into a more independent setting. You know, he used to work where people told him when to go to bed, when, you know. So his whole quality of life has changed. But it meant that we had to pay attention. We had to listen to what he wanted and how we could help support him best. And he took risk. He took risk. And it didn't all go hearts and flowers. It wasn't always perfect. But he took risk and he continues to take risk. 